je pense que cette, la crise que nous vivons, qui connaît des différents rebondissements, nous avancerons demain et nous poursuivrons ce combat. C'est bien d'un combat qu'il s'agit et c'est bien d'une mission d'intérêt général dans un contexte singulier qui a besoin de stabilité, qui a besoin de confiance. Et la confiance entre les consommateurs et les établissements bancaires, institutionnels, d'assurance, mais aussi la confiance entre les populations et les États, les pouvoirs publics, les gouvernements, font partie d'un des éléments de réponse que nous efforcerons de proposer au monde à Cannes d'ici une quinzaine de jours. Well, there are two things that have to be dealt with in a relatively short term. One is the question of the capitalization of the banks, followed, of course, by the funding of the banks and by these so-called stress tests, all having to do with the banking system, the stability of the banking system, the credibility of the banking system. The other one is dealing with the debt. The debt issue, particularly how to deal with Greece, how to ring fence Greece, how to uh, you know, strike a deal between Greece and uh, its creditors, which will necessarily imply a, uh, a reduction in the nominal amount of the debt, because that's the only way in which uh, Greece can make it uh, medium and long term. And uh, uh, also to be able to isolate it so that there is no contagion. But what is important is to stop chasing our own tails, you know, to stop trying to satisfy the judgment of the markets. The leaders have to come up with a very decisive plan and say, this is the plan, we're going to stick to it and lead rather than be following. You know, today we have leaders in a position where uh, they're trying to appease the markets and the markets are sitting there in judgment and saying, oh, well, um, I think you could do a little better, you know, so the next day you start another round of appeasement. That's not going to lead us anywhere. <laughs> Monsieur le ministre. Monsieur le ministre.